Let's face it, that little alien look and sweet personality really got to you. Even if at first you thought these cats were weird, you're now in love with them and thinking of getting one. But which one should you get? There isn't only one type of Sphinx cat. And in this video, you'll learn all about the different kinds. Before we start, if you're into cat breeds and cat behavior, go ahead and subscribe. You're in the perfect place. I'm a crazy cat mama, and I love to make videos about cats. Let's start. Firstly, two hairless breeds have Sphinx in their name. The first one is the most popular breed, Sphinx, or previously called Canadian Hairless. The other one is the Donskoy, or Don Sphinx. Both breeds are either hairless or appear so, but they're not the same. The genetic mutations that make them hairless are actually different. Not only this, but their appearance is slightly distinct. Both are medium-sized cats, but the Donskoy usually has smaller eyes and smaller ears, even if its ears are large. But in the case of Sphinx cats, their ears are just enormous. This makes the Sphinx's face appear smaller. I have a dedicated video on the Sphinx breed that you can watch to learn everything about this cat. That being said, the Donskoy is much less common in America, and the Sphinx breed is pretty rare too. Not many people are aware that such breeds exist. Sadly, the price for these hairless babies is higher than other breeds. Let's discuss their fur placements, cause guess what? Not all are entirely hairless. The Donskoy sports four different coat types in a variety of colors. The rubber bald is born bald and remains that way throughout its life. The flock type appears hairless and has the texture of a soft chamois. The flock coat can disappear and the cat can become bald. Cats born with velour coats have a bald spot on their head. Their wavy coats disappear in the first year, but some hair can remain on the face, legs, and tail. The last one, brush, has a soft, wavy fur on the whole body with some bald spots, but is not allowed in shows. Let's also talk about the Sphinx breed. These cats come in a variety of types. First of all, Sphinx cats usually have fur. Some are completely bald, but most have very short and soft peach-like hair. Still, even the hairy ones look hairless. There's the standard Sphinx that's recognized by most prominent cat associations. But other Sphinx cats look even more unique. The standard Sphinx has regular legs and normal ears. And by normal, I mean huge, straight ones. They're the cheapest type, priced at about $2,000. Moving on, the odd-eyed Sphinx cats are rare and pricier. These cats have one blue eye, while the other one is green or gold. Due to their uniqueness, they cost up to $3,000 and even more. Next on the list is the Elf Sphinx. The Elf cat was developed to create a unique-looking feline that was both hairless and had curled ears. These cats have standard sized legs. However, they may have a different body structure than a standard Sphinx. That's because they were created by breeding Sphinx cats with stockier American curls. At the moment, elf cats are pretty rare and they cost about $2,200. Bambinos result from long-boned dwarf cats, like the munchkin and hairless cats, including the sphinx. They have normal ears but short legs. Due to their short legs, they're more sought after and cost around $2,400. The last one in the sphinx category is the dwarf. This cat has short legs and curled ears. And for these reasons, it's even pricier than Bambinos. What about their personalities? Here's a short summary of a Sphinx's personality. These cats are super affectionate and pretty playful. Luckily, these traits most likely apply to every Sphinx type. But what about Donskoy cats? They too appear to be active and loving and thrive when receiving plenty of attention. Both breeds are suited for people willing to have an active and loyal companion and less appropriate for those who want a chill pet. So, which type should you choose? Well, Sphinx cats seem to be more prone to developing HCM than Donskoy. On one of the cat associations, the life expectancy of a Sphinx is said to be 15 years or more. That being said, their lifespan varies, and I found it can be as low as 8 years. Most sites actually state their life expectancy to be between 8 and 14 years. However, some individuals can live well into their 20s. For Donskoy, their life expectancy is anywhere between 12 and 15 years, and even more, according to the same cat association. Regardless of type, you should always get these cats from a respectable breeder. Breeders scan their cats yearly against major health issues and don't allow affected cats to breed. In this way, you'll have the best chance of getting a healthy cat. It's pricier indeed, but I think it's worth it. If you like this video, please give it a like so I know what types of videos to make. Next, you can watch my video about the Sphinx breed, which I'll put in the description and on the screen. You can also find some super helpful products for your cat in the description, from pet sitters to holistic treatments. Thanks for watching and see ya in my next video.